Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are feeling well and staying safe and healthy. I'm Hasan Zainuri. Welcome to Public Speaking Course. In this course, you are going to learn about outlining and organizing your speech. In this section of this chapter, I will talk about the connective statement. First, let me tell you the learning objective of this lesson. After learning this lesson, students will be able to first choose a connective statement that is appropriate to speech type, second, create connective statements that will help the audience understand the logic and structure of a speech. Now let's move on to the overview of this video. This is the outline of the topics in this video, first connective statements and second types of connectives. Now. Let's turn our attention to the connective statement. You might be thinking at this point that preparing for public speaking is not always a straight line. If you are already have a structure in mind while drafting the particular purpose statement, the primary idea or thesis sentence will flow naturally from the specific purpose statement and structure. In some cases, the procedure may not be as straightforward and you may need to think more carefully about how to organize your speech and write your main concepts. At this stage, we have also worked on the core of the speech, the purpose, the main idea or thesis, and the key main points, which are also known as Roman numerals, because traditional outline formal use 1 through 5. Connectives, in general, provide a variety of functions including the following. First, remind the audience of what has come before. Second, remind the audience of the central focus or purpose of the speech. Then, explain the logical connection between the previous main idea and the next one, or previous points and the next one. And then, keep the audience attention through repetition. Now, let's move on to the second main point in this lesson which is about the types of connectives. In formulating the central idea statement, there are several connectives that we can use. First, internal summaries or previews. The function is that to remind the audience of what has already been discussed, to inform the audience of what is going to happen next in the speech, and what to expect in terms of the content of your speech. Then, transitions. Transitions act as connecting points between seemingly unconnected pieces of information, most typically between your major points. Next, bridging statements. Bridging statements emphasize moving the audience psychologically to the next step. And finally, signpost. Signpost emphasize the physical movement that occurs throughout the speech substance and inform the audience exactly where they are. For example, first, next, lastly, second, third. Signpost can also be longer, but in general, signposting is intended to be a concise indication of where your audience is in the speech. In conclusion, let me sum up the main point of this lesson. Connectives and the types of the connectives have been explained in detail in this lesson. I think that's all. See you on the next video.